down near the mines and enter any active sites at your own risk. Welcome to Sedonia Security. I'm Commander Vincent Woodard, Chief of Planetary Security and former head of the Red Devils program here on Mars. I tend to deal with security at a high governmental level, whereas my associate Booth over there handles day-to-day -day security issues. So if you're looking to report a minor crime or misdemeanor, see him. But if there's something I can help you with, feel free to ask. That's a pretty serious accusation. I assume you have proof of these alleged illicit activities? Hmm. Let me take a look at that. Well, this doesn't look good for Hearst. I'll say that. You did the right thing by coming to me. I'll take it from here. The United Colonies thanks you for your vigilance. Crimes at an all-time low around Sedonia. Let's without protected gear. All outside social activities require the use of a certified safety. Since you helped us out with the equipment and all, <coughs> I was wondering if I could talk to you. <coughs> it's, it's probably <coughs> not, but I can't afford to go get it looked at. It's not a matter of money. There's more to it than that. Actually, maybe this is wrong. You're a total stranger. Forget I said anything. Really? That bad? I... Well, it's clear you want to help. Maybe I can trust you. See... I'd like to go to Reliant Medical for treatment, but my father, Nathan, is an executive with the Reliant. I came to Sidonia to escape him. Nathan is not a good man. Not to me. And I did something terrible to him, so now he is searching far and wide for me. He has connections with doctors throughout the settled systems, I don't know which ones I can trust, and it won't end well for me if they snitch to him. It's worse than you think. I didn't just... <coughs> run away from him. I knocked him unconscious, then stole his ship while he was out cold. Trust me, it was warranted at the time. After I ditched it above Aquila, I bounced around... <coughs> Settled systems until I landed here. It's the last place I thought he'd find me. But all that changes if I pop up in the Reliant database. He'll know I'm in Sidonia, and he'll never stop looking for me. Last I heard, he no longer cares for my safety. He only wants revenge. I have little doubt he would throw me in jail for as long as possible. Or worse. It's a risk I have to take. Yes, my condition is getting worse, but there's a chance it will clear up on its own. If my father finds me, well, I know my father and I fear for my safety. That is a definite.
after my mother died in an accident, he changed. He became obsessed with my protection, but he never listened to what that was doing to me. It got worse and worse. First, it was no traveling in ships without one of his pilots. Then, no parties, no drinking, no leaving the house. I obeyed. But he didn't trust me, so he started monitoring everything I did. It became so bad, he once locked me in my room for two days after an argument. Can you believe that? A prisoner in my own home. Every day there was yelling, lack of freedom, threats. I had to escape my prison. But even now, I am trapped. Trevor tells me you're skilled in dealing with people. Maybe you could try to reason with my father, or maybe scare him into backing off. But you should know. He has powerful and dangerous friends, so you must be careful. If it works, I'll be free. If not, well, at, at least he still won't know where to find me. What do you think? It just so happens there's a conference he goes to on Neon around this time of year. He always stays at Hotel Volai. He won't see visitors he doesn't know, but maybe he'll talk if you tell him you're there on my behalf. It's risky, but maybe he'll listen if he knows you mean him no harm. I've got it. Bring him a bottle of his favorite whiskey, Red Harvest Reserve. Say it's... <coughs> uh, say it's a peace offering from me. That whiskey is exceedingly rare. I'm sure it will pique his interest enough to hear what you have to say. Good luck. You can check with Jack at the Broken Spear for the whiskey. He may have some or <coughs> know where to get it. And thank you so much for trying to help me. Graffiti and other street art is not tolerated for Sedonia City Ordinance 5.2. Failure to comply with this ordinance will result in fines not exceeding 5,000 credits or 100 hours community service. type that could afford it. The last person who came through here asking about it was none other than Governor Hurst. Didn't even want to drink it. Said he was buying it to put it on display in his office. Something. Seems like a waste, but eh, whatever. He paid up. You got my attention. This is good. I do believe you, but you realize what kind of a bond this puts me in, right? You said that already. I'm not buying it. You're gonna have to be more convinced than that. Sorry. Not buying your story. You want that whiskey? You gotta pay full price. Yeah. I didn't think you were serious. Yes. Okay. Okay. 
community center on page one is a good place to get It is now safe to resume normal activity. Hope Mr. Brennan's treating you right. You're definitely someone worth having around for tricky situations. Sorry, we have to cut this conversation short. with that stop right there you see
You know, the way you handle things is not bad. Not bad. My life isn't open. Goodbye. Are you working toward that next technological leap? Then let Ryujin Industries help you get there. Fill out an application today to become part of the most advanced technology corporation in the settled systems. Welcome to the Hotel Voli. Are you here to rent a room? I think you'll be pleasantly surprised that our luxury accommodations are more than reasonably priced. <laughs> That's the first thing that all of my guests say. My hotel is completely free from administrative influence, so you can rest assured that you'll be actually getting the best value for your credits. Indeed it does. And all it took was a dash of my own ingenuity to make it happen. But that's a story for another time. So, can I book you a room for the night? Oh, how nice. His daughter must be feeling very generous to be sending him something like that. Mr. Ovadia is in his room on the third floor. I'll buzz him and let him know you're on your way. Let's make this quick. so blind you have no idea what you're doing you need to tell me where she is this instant my own daughter assaults me in my own home steals my personal spacecraft then runs off to who knows where now you think a friendly little chat is going to smooth it all over and make things better how foolish do you think I am You haven't seen anything yet. Keep trying me and find out. I don't disagree with you. I suppose I've overreacted. She was young and while foolish, she is still my daughter. And Rivka is all I have left of my wife. I would do her a disservice to incriminate her daughter like that.
Yes. Tell her I will drop the charges immediately and call off the bounty hunters. And I suppose I will seek her out to talk. I may just need a little time to figure out how to say what I need to say. Thank you. You know, you have a real career waiting in family counseling. You can make a fortune untangling us co's, for example. All the soldiers around here, a bad place to start trouble. like these, it's hard not to get homesick. I gotta keep that <coughs> for my family back home. I received an urgent message from my father. He's dropped the charges. It will still be difficult. There's a lot we need to speak about, but I think we may be able to mend our relationship, thanks to you. Yes. It sounded sincere, I can tell. And if I'm being truthful, I secretly hoped he would come to his senses. I doubt it will come to that, but yes. I now know I have a friend I can count on when I'm in trouble. Of course, <laughs> we will be taking things slow. There is a lot of trust to rebuild. But he acknowledged and apologized for his past behavior. That is a good first step, and I'm willing to let him back into my life, bit by bit, as long as he proves his words and commits to change. Without your intervention, this would not have been possible. <laughs> And I can finally treat this. Thank you. I cannot repay you enough. 